Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to show you how to use this basic brake bleeder kit that I got from uh, Napa Auto Parts. It says it uh, bleeds brakes, clutches, and transfers fluid. Make sure you have all the parts you need, your hand pump, your reservoir, two pieces of hose, and your connections. And see if your hose fits firmly on your bleeder, which on mine, it does. So I shouldn't need any adapters. You might want to put a little silicone gel on your connections to put your hose on, help them get an airtight fit and put this stuff together. Now that you have your pieces together, you want to go ahead, and I actually broke that loose with a, a socket. Now I can finish opening it up with a little hand wrench. As you can see, the fluid is already coming down in there. Now I want to go up front and make sure that my reservoir up front in the engine compartment is full. So I'm gonna remove my reservoir cap and make sure that that is clean and full and I didn't realize it was going to be hard getting that off with my bar there I hope I didn't break nothing at any rate I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more with fresh fluid and then begin the bleeding process here's the brake fluid that I decided to buy from O'Reilly's you gotta check your owner's manual make sure you get the proper type it is synthetic and you want to get enough to bleed the whole system. Brake fluid is some harsh stuff so you don't want to spill it on anything. I'm going to get a funnel so that I can do this right because spilling this stuff on paint or anything will strip it and eat through stuff. So let me go get a funnel. You need to make absolutely sure that your funnel is clean and dry. I sprayed this down with brake parts cleaner then I shoved the rag with a long screwdriver all the way through it to make sure it was clean and dry. You do not want any contaminants in your brake system. Well, it looked like this actually got started without me, but you want to vacuum all of the fluid out of here until you get clear fluid. And you want to start from the wheel furthest from the reservoir. So you go passenger rear, driver's rear, passenger front, and then driver's front. So let me go ahead and make sure that this is right to vacuum this uh, fluid out of here. If everything hooked up, I just start operating the hand pump a couple of times. And as you can see, it's drawing the fluid into the reservoir. So you want to try to make sure that no air bubbles is getting in at your connection. Pump it four times and I let it sit until I see the fluid uh, slows down, then I pump it four more times. When my bottle is half full, I'm gonna go top off my reservoir again. And I do notice that this kit has these in here. They'll probably create a better airtight seal for me. So I'm also gonna shut this off and switch to this, see if it cuts down on air. I think air is getting past my connection there on the hose. Even with that on the connection, I'm getting a lot of air bubbles. So, it didn't seem to matter much. Now that I have the reservoir pretty much full, I'm going to hit this to relieve the pressure. Now I'm going to close that off. Actually, I should have closed this off first. And then relieve the pressure. Now I'm going to dump this reservoir into a container. I actually think I get less air in it without that connection on the end so I may switch back to running it without that connection. Bleeding this first caliper is the furthest one so you're probably going to get a lot of fluid out of it. You really need to keep uh, vacuuming this fluid out until it pretty much comes out clear. 
anything with a tint to it is dirty fluid and you want to suck all of the dirty fluid out and only have clean coming out before you stop that may take uh, 16 to 20 ounces on this caliper back here again be careful not to run your reservoir up there empty you don't want air getting into your brake booster and places like that and in these lines the fluid coming out now is almost pure clear and that's what I want so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one down get some pressure on it and close off the bleeder screw as it's bleeding so there's no air in this uh, caliper all right got that closed off now I'm gonna unplug that snug that down put the wheel on the driver's side is not near as bad as the passenger side was and after a bottle and a half this stuff is coming out almost clear so I'm only going to have to take two bottles out of this side bottle on the left is the brake fluid out of the passenger side rear the bottom on the right is the brake fluid out of the driver's side rear so we'll see how clear it gets when I do the front if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.